school. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to school. And I hope you all had a good day yesterday. And um, I'm congratulating those children who would have sent their word through WhatsApp. I am very proud of you, and I'm encouraging the parents to send out their child work so I can see and we can move forward. Okay. So welcome back to school and yesterday we talked about plants and plants are living things and can you remember why we say plants are living things because they grow they breathe they reproduce they give off waste okay children and this is called a plant this is called a plant okay yes and today we will be talking about We'll be recapping a little about plants and why we say they are living things. Now let's sing that song quickly. Okay? Let's go. The farmer plants the seeds. The farmer plants the seeds. I am the of the farmer plants the seeds. The farmer plants the seeds. The sun comes out to shine. The sun comes out to shine. Hi ho, the dairy, oh, the sun comes out to shine. Wonderful. Yes, so plants are living things. Plants are living things. Okay, boys and girls, now today we'll be talking about a special letter. A special letter. Okay, and that letter is letter. Letter U, the letter. U and the U says O. Oh. The U says O. Oh. Okay? Now letter U has two songs. We have the long song that says U and the short song that says O. Oh. Now letter U also belongs to a special family. Can you remember which family that letter belongs to? The vowel family. It belongs to the vowel family. Okay? Let's say the vowel A E I O U. See that? A E I O U. Let's sing that song quickly. A E E O O. 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 Now let's talk about some things that begin with letter U. You got underwear, umbrella. Underwear and Umbrella, are you hearing the oh song at the beginning? Yes, we are hearing that song. So you know what I want you to do for me? You are going to draw some other things that begin with letter U. Okay, you can draw a. Yes, mommy is going to help you with that. You can draw some things that begin with the letter U. The short song U. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, children. So that's it for phonics today, and I'm expecting to see some work from you. Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. And now we're going to do large group. We're going to do large group. Let's sing the song quickly. It's large group time. It's large group time. Everybody everywhere. It's large group time. Now, what is our theme for this term? Our theme for this term is plants and animals in the environment. And our topic for this week is plants are living things. Because they grow, they breed, they reproduce, and they give off waste. Okay, children? Now, today we'll be talking about how plants can be used as a source of income. When we talk about income, we're talking about money. We're talking about money. So, how plants can be used as a source of income. Do you know that plants can be used as a source of income? Yes, plants can be used as a source of income. Do you know when you go to the market and you see all those vendors selling things like apples, vegetables like bora, karaila, and lots of, lots of fruits and vegetables at the market. Now, they get those vegetables from plants, okay? When they sell them, they get what they get in return. They get money, they get money so that is one way plants can be used as a source of income okay when you sell the fruits and vegetables at the market or at home you get money okay children so plants are very important so you know what you're going to do for me you are going to draw you're going to draw a market vendor you're going to draw a market vendor so you draw the market vendor 
nicely okay and what she is selling fruits and vegetables she is selling fruits and vegetables okay so this is the market vendor she is wearing a, a dress okay and here you have her stall there okay and you can draw the fruits what are some fruits bananas yes bananas apples cherries and then you can draw some vegetables like bora kalalu balanche uh-huh and lots more okay children now she is at the market yes yeah, she is at the market you see that and what she is doing she is selling she is selling okay children she is selling fruits and vegetables and when she sells those fruits and vegetables what do you think she will get in return she will get money she will get money yes she will get money <laughs> good so that is one way fruits and plants can be used as a source of income okay so this is our stall she have a little tent there yes and you can draw your own neat and nice okay better than teachers right. so this is the market vendor and this is our foods and vegetables she is selling to get money okay right so you're going to draw your own and then you will be sending it to me okay children Good. Okay, that's it for social studies today. We have some, uh huh. Eat green and yellow fruits. You all remember that? Eat green and yellow fruits. Eat green and yellow fruits. They are good for you. They are good for you. Pumpkin makes your eyes bright. Color makes your skin clean. These are fine. These are fine. Yes, boys and girls. So, some of the fruits that market vendors sell also they sell. This is a picture of an apple. Mm -hmm. The last time I went to the market, I saw lots of apples. Okay? And I buy I bought five hundred dollars in apples. Five hundred. I gave the vendor the money and he gave me some apples. They also sell bananas. They also sell bananas. And banana is a fruit. It is a fruit. Yes. They also sell mangoes. They also sell mangoes okay children let me see those of you like mangoes yes i love mangoes too and then they also sell uh, cherries okay now this is this a fruit or a vegetable mm. this is a fruit it is a fruit yes give yourself a little clap yes boys and girls so welcome back so now we're going to do mathematics okay and for mathematics, we'll be recapping numeral 1 to 10. We will be talking about numeral 1 to 10. Now, let's start with a lovely song about numeral 1 to 10. And we're going to sing along. Okay, children? Yes. So, let's go. Yes, so I guess you enjoy, I know you enjoy that song, okay? So you can let mommy play that song for you at home and you can do the action. One, two, three, four, five. Once I cut off it. And you can do that with mommy, okay? And then you know what you can do? You want to write this numeral in your workbook. And then mommy, you want to send it to me so you to see. Okay, children? And you're going to learn to count and spell, all right? I want to spell 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so that's it for mathematics today.